If you've been thinking about investing in a short-term rental to rent out, maybe make a side income, or even own your own vacation home, then stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to tell you the number one spot voted by travel and leisure readers, their favorite island in the continental US, and that's where you should be putting your money. Hi, I'm Cassie Long with Horizon Realty, and I help individuals and families just like you relocate to Georgia every single day. So if you're thinking about making a move to Georgia or wanting to invest in real estate in South Georgia specifically, click the link below in the description box to get all of my contact information. I would love to help you. Let's get started. So Travel and Leisure is a media travel brand, a highly reputable one at that. And every single year they host their world's best survey. So this year in 2023, the readers got to vote and they voted the Golden Isles the number one favorite island in the continental U.S. So first let's just talk about where the heck is the Golden Isles. So the Golden Isles is nestled down on the southeastern coast of Georgia and that's comprised of Little St. Simons, St. Simons Island, Sea Island, and Jekyll Island. Now sometimes historic Brunswick and Brunswick is looped in with all of that as it is the mainland to those islands. But for this specific um, survey, we are just looking at those islands in totality. So readers voted that the number one favorite stateside spot to relax island style. So we're gonna jump in with the criteria that was used for that survey and how readers voted it the number one spot. All right, so there were five areas that were included in that criteria, and that's natural attractions and beaches, that's number one. Number two is activities and sites. Number three is restaurants and food. Number four is the people and the overall friendliness. And number five is the total value. So we are going to explore each one of those options. So let's dive in on number one, natural attractions and beaches. So obviously being an island, there are beaches. That is the number one thing that people come to St. Simons Island, Sea Island, the Golden Isles to do is to relax, hang out by the beach. It's one of the best. We've got that dark sand. We've got beautiful waters. You can find tide pools, everything. It's a great spot. We have numerous public beach access points. If you're on Sea Island, that's a bit of a more private experience. You have to actually be a member of Sea Island or be staying on Sea Island to even get onto Sea Island. So um, if you're looking for that more exclusive, private kind of experience, then Sea Island is going to be for you. St. Simons Island, there is a causeway to get over there, but it is free. And Jekyll Island, there is a causeway to get over to Jekyll Island as well, and there is a cost for that. So each little island within the Golden Isles is a little bit different, and you're gonna get a different experience going to each one. But they are all beautiful and highly sought after places. And speaking of beaches, you may have heard of St. Simons Island when it is football season. St. Simons Island is a host for the Georgia Florida game. You probably have seen pictures all over social media of Frat Beach. That is one huge perk of having a vacation home on St. Simons Island is it will always be rented out during Georgia Florida season. Up next, let's talk about the activities and sites that are available within the Golden Isles. So the Golden Isles is a huge golfing community. Um, sea Island has an amazing golf course. There are tons of golf courses all around the Golden Isles and we actually host the RSM Classic every single year and that is a huge event that brings a lot of tourists in and a lot of tourists come in just specifically for the different golf courses that we have here in the Golden Isles. And also, in addition to golfing, there's all the water sports. There's boating, fishing, paddleboarding, kayaking, all of that fun stuff we have available right here in the Golden Isles. All right, let's skip on to the next point, which is restaurants and food within the Golden Isles. St. Simons Island in particular is my favorite spot to go when we are dining. There are amazing food restaurants. One of the biggest staples for St. Simons Island is Southern Soul Barbecue. It is a 
super cute kind of shack looking barbecue joint, but it is amazing. And there's also Georgia Sea Grill, which is an award winning restaurant just recently actually within this past year won a pretty big award and it is serviced by local farmers so everything there is fresh and local we have an abundance of amazing restaurants within the golden isles jekyll island has its own options as well i more prefer saint simon's island um, for the food scene that brings me to my next point which is people and friendliness well we are in georgia so it hospitality is just in our nature so definitely be prepared if you are you know moving from up north or investing in a home down here from up north people here are just friendly it's not uncommon to go to the store and have people comment or say hello to you or wave um, in a friendly manner so hospitality is of our utmost priority so the people and overall friendliness definitely got a high rating on that part of the survey and lastly is the value um, you can just from all of the other points you can see that the value is there not only if you're looking to invest in a short-term rental but if you're just looking for a home the value is there St. Simon's Island, Little St. Simon's, Jekyll Island, Sea Island, they all bring their own value to the table. And overall, as the Golden Isles, it is a wonderful place not only to live, but to also to vacation, and thirdly, to profit off of those vacationing. So it can be a very lucrative opportunity, maybe even the golden opportunity. So if you are looking to invest in a short-term rental, the value is definitely there. The readers have voted it the number one spot for a reason so don't miss out on this amazing opportunity they're literally telling you where they want to vacation so if you've got the money and you've been thinking of investing in a short-term rental definitely consider the golden isles and if you are considering the golden isles whether it's to live work or play feel free to reach out to me my contact info is right here and if you want to know what it's like to live in brunswick georgia then click this link and watch this video right here thanks for tuning in again this is cassie long with horizon realty please subscribe and like this video so you don't miss another one